Hi everyone. So moving on to the overview of a viral oncogenesis, there are multiple oncogenic events uh, that transform the normal host cells into the abnormal cancer cells. Uh, this is a complex process, is a multi-step complex process and it requires a prolonged time for the oncogenicity to uh, develop and uh, those viruses, however the viruses contribute a little. Okay, so uh, the multiple oncogenic events are responsible to transform the normal host cells into the cancer cancer cells and this is a complex process and requires a prolonged duration even decades for the oncogenesis to happen okay uh, types of oncovirus so oncoviruses are classified into onco dna oncogenic virus and rna oncogenic virus so what are the dna viruses uh, that is herpes viridae, herpes viridae which uh, contains hhv8 that is human herpes virus 8 which is associated with uh, Kaposi's sarcoma and it is called Kaposi's sarcoma associated virus and Epstein-Barr virus and uh, human papilloma virus and hepatitis B virus. All these are oncogenic DNA viruses. Whereas hepatitis C virus which comes under Flaviviridae family and HTLV type 1 that is human T-cell lymphotrophic virus. These are oncogenic RNA viruses. Then moving on to the overview of viral oncogenesis. So, oncogenesis, viral oncogenesis is a uh, complex uh, process. So, multiple oncogenic events uh, transform the host cells to cancer cells. Okay, uh, viruses contribute a little and it is a complex and prolonged time. Usually, the oncogenesis process requires a prolonged time, even decades, because it is a complex process and it requires a lot of time to uh, progress, to transform the host cells to cancer cells. Okay. So, what are oncogenes? Oncogenes are genes that encode proteins called oncoprotein. These oncoproteins transform the normal cells into cancer cells. So, these oncogenes that encodes proteins which are called oncoproteins, these oncoproteins transform the normal host cells into abnormal cancer cells. Okay, there are three types of oncogenes that is viral oncogenes, that is V oncogen, C oncogen that is cellular oncogens and proto oncogens. So, viral oncogens this is nothing but oncogens that present in the viral genome that is why it is called V oncogen that is viral oncogens. These oncogens present in the viral genome and this is responsible for the replication of the virus. So, viral oncogens which is present in the viral genome is essential for the replication of the virus and this uh, viral oncogen it, which is expressed only by certain retroviruses. Those are called acutely transforming retroviruses. Okay. And what is C oncogen? This is cellular oncogens. So, cellular oncogens are the cellular counterpart of viral oncogens that is present in the cancer cells. Okay, this is a cellular counterpart of viral oncogen present in cancer cells, C for C, cancer cells. Whereas, proto-oncogens, these are the cellular counterpart of viral oncogen present in the normal host cells. Understand? So, C oncogen is present in the cancer cells. This is the ca cellular counterpart of viral oncogen that present in the cancer cells. Whereas proto oncogens present in the normal host cells. So, these are the oncogens you should know of, like V oncogen, which is a viral oncogen present in viral genome, C oncogen, which is a cellular oncogen that is present in the cancer cells, and proto oncogen, this is a cellular counterpart of viral oncogen present in the normal host cells. Okay. And genes regulating host cell growth. So, there are uh, four important genes which are uh, responsible for, I mean, regulation of cell growth and proliferation. Okay. So, first is proto-oncogens, next is anti-oncogens or tumor suppressor genes, or apoptosis regulatory genes and DNA repair genes. So, these are responsible for regulation of normal host cell growth and proliferation. Any defects, any defects in any of these regulatory genes transforms the normal host cells into abnormal tumor cells. So, these are the genes responsible, these are the genes very important for cell growth, I mean uh, regulation of cell growth and proliferation. So, any defects in any of these regulatory genes would transform the normal host cells into abnormal tumor cells. So, moving on to the genes regulating uh, host cell growth. 
okay uh, there are four important genes uh, which are responsible for regulation of cell growth host cell growth and proliferation so proto oncogenes and anti oncogenes anti oncogenes are tumor suppressor genes and apoptosis regulatory genes and dna repair genes these are the four important genes responsible for uh, regulation of cell growth okay defects in any of these regulatory genes transforms the normal host cells into abnormal tumor cells 